Welcome to the next video in my Does This Still Work line of gold farming videos. This is a cataclysm skinning farm, which means we'll be using a potion of treasure finding. The tiny treasure chests you'll be receiving contain items that sell amazingly well. So grab a potion off the auction house, if you don't already have one, and then hop in the portal to Uldum. If you're unfamiliar with how to get to Uldum, just head over to your faction's earth shrine and use the portal. Once you arrive, be sure to chat with Zadormi to make sure you're in the correct timeline. You'll see her location marked on the map with a small chat bubble. When you talk to her, if you're prompted to return to the current time, you'll know you're in Cataclysm, so just stay put. However, if you get a prompt asking about Oldham during the time of Cataclysm, be sure to switch to it, as it's the only way you'll see the mobs we'll be farming. Now that we know we're in the correct timeline, let's head down south to the location marked on the map, which is located between Neferset and the lost city of Tolvir. Just a quick break to ask you to please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy this type of content. And also like this video if you find it useful. If you have any questions or tips you'd like to share, I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to leave any comments down below. Don't forget to drink your potion of treasure finding, as it will play a big role in your overall profits. I'll wait to open up all of the tiny treasure chests until the end of this short 5 minute farming session. I think potions typically go for a little over 200 gold apiece, but they last for an hour, and you'll see that they more than paid for themselves just in the short time I was farming in this video. Notice the first few pulls, where I'm trying to use my regular abilities to kill the young crocs. You'll see that it doesn't work very well, so just use one of your AoE abilities and the entire farm will run more efficiently. You'll also want to make sure you're waiting for the slowing debuff you receive to expire, as opening the next egg cluster before it expires will result in crocs that you'll be unable to kill and skin. For this reason, I don't recommend using a Dark Moon Firewater Potion to speed up your skinning, as you'll likely just be waiting for that debuff to expire. While I only receive one BOE pattern during this short farming session, a lot of BOEs typically drop from this farm. You'll get next to nothing vendoring them, and if you're not into the transmog farm thing, just put them up on the auction house for a fraction of the current market price. You'll likely not sell them all right away, but they will sell a lot quicker. Not only will you have people leveling alts that will buy the stuff, but people flipping things on the auction house will be buying up the items as well. This is just a guess, but in an hour of farming, you'll likely make between 250 and 1,000 extra gold using this strategy. The drop rates for the tiny treasure chests and the BOEs can vary greatly, so just keep grinding and trust that the RNG gods will eventually smile upon you. So just hang out for a few more minutes and we'll open up all of the tiny treasure chests and stomachs gathered through skinning. I 
can't loot that. That would be stealing. I can't loot that. It's also worth noting that every last thing collected while filming this video sold overnight. So, not bad, right? I'm definitely calling this one good, as it appears to be working as well as ever. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you decide to give it a try, I wish you the best of luck. If you have questions or concerns, please let me know. Have an amazing day.